Everything has to start fresh, like you know nothing. Most of the things one is designing are things one's experienced or has an opinion on. And I'm primed because in my case, I've always thought about it. I came to design quite incidentally, in a sense, because uh, I didn't come out of a culture which was aware of design. Um, it wasn't in the air, so to speak. I could draw. I was very inventive. And I was very different. I was a very different kind of person. When you're young, you, you realize that if you can visualize the dreams inside your head, these things that other people can't see, you can do anything. I mean, something like my water bottle here, you know, the process, the process is exactly the same as every other water bottle, but it's the way you cook with it, you know. So that sort of metaphor, which was there when I was maybe 12, 13, uh, is something that stays with me today. This is a study for a car called Kyoto, where actually you just re reduce it to its minimum material mass. I think that is a principle, I think that's a foundation principle, that's not a, really even about fashion or anything like that, that's, that's something that should be in design as a principle. But then you might begin to understand more about that idea of organic essentialism or there's just the reduction in the economics of objects. Now art is unexpected and design is expected you know, because design is there and it's delivered through a sort, sort of facsimile if you like to a lot of people so it needs to be neutralized mm, I don't feel good about that what's wonderful about art is in whichever medium uh, it really stimulates the way you think it's, it's more than what it is and design is rarely more than what it is and it's often often a functional tool. So trying to find that balance, if you like, between uh, being able to deliver something functionally, but to still retain the intellectual, uh, more abstract values of it. I wanted to do a book that could go into the hands of some people I really respect, who would get it, you know, who would want to know more or want to be part of it. So the book was titled Supernatural uh, because, you know, my work is, is very influenced by observation of nature. I'd like people to sense the kind of beauty and the investment in the composition of the book itself, the composition of the photography, the way the, the, the images are balanced and what those objects are. I'm part of a of an unstoppable human phenomena of light switches, shoes, a watch, a tripod, you know, a lamp, a computer. I mean, look around you. A year or so ago, and I was on the balcony with Jasper in his flat with, with some of these lovely people I'm talking about. Constantine was there, it was great. And uh, Jasper kind of leant over with a fag and he said, hmm, he said, your work's getting consistent now. And I said, well, I'm coming from you. I said, that's pretty good. <laughs>